Hello everyone and welcome to my F1 PSGL highlights. That's right, F1. I have been promoted to F1. I've got promoted midweek. So, uh, yeah, I mean, in qualifying, mixed conditions, uh, inters to drive. I managed to get pole at the end. So, uh, yeah, perfect start. And it's five red lights. And we're away. And initially, I've got a really good start. And it went until I saw QPRB sort of have a better run and sort of defended the middle of the track so we couldn't go down my inside but we we're going to keep blue through turn one and i mean my aim coming into this race was just to score points you know if i got anything higher than maybe seventh or sixth i'd be very happy with my performance but um behind you'll see that there was a, a i'll say a bit there was a big collision between the guys behind so uh that's opened us up to i do believe i do believe it's around a three second lead to max who is now in second place and only in third but um I mean, very lucky to obviously not be involved in it all, but from what I've heard and seen in, in the chat afterwards, it was uh, it was partly the, the game's fault to blame. So, uh, again, I mean, the game being at fault for another incident, it's, it's not on, man. I mean, because now I do believe the championship leader, QPRB, was involved in that. So, that's, um, that's obviously unfortunate for him. But, um, I mean, I'm obviously not going to complain at this point. Um, I knew that, if I can open a gap to Max and Oli in sec second or third, then I should be on course for maybe even a win. But um, just quickly moving on, like about the whole me getting promoted and that, um, I did ask midweek, I do believe, I think it was shortly after Spain, um, that I wanted to get promoted. Um, and they were offering places where I'll place out and I sort of messaged admin of F2 and F1 and they got, they got it all sorted. So, uh, I just want to say massive thanks to them for making it, you know, such an easy process and um, hopefully I impressed everyone with my performance here at Canada. Um, as I said, I wanted to come into this race to uh, just secure points and I said that to my teammate who is Game Freaker in the Renault as well and he was very delighted to see me here as well. So, uh, yeah, back to the race now, lap 13. So we've actually gone a long way on the, on the uh, Ultra Soft, but... Um, a little bit of a recap, because obviously I, I didn't include it in the video. Uh, Max pitted, I do believe, was lap 8 or 9. Um, I was going to follow him on lap 10 or 11, I do believe it was, but he did actually retire. That's why I went so much longer on the Ultrasauce. Um, if he didn't retire, I think I would have... I think I would have pitted maybe lap 10 or 11, just to maybe try and not get so much of an undercut. But um, we're actually going to come out in second place still. So, I mean, we're just missing um, Pine and... I, I, I can't really remember who was behind him, but we're gonna miss that little bit, that little train there. We're actually gonna rejoin in second. So I mean, again, this has been a dream start for me. I, you know, if you'd have told me before the race you'd been in second place after your pit stop, I would have laughed and said, "You're yeah, all right, mate. Jog on," because you know there are guys in here who are very, very quick. But um, yeah, lap 19. Um, I've been behind Sandown Kid for, I do believe. A couple laps now i mean obviously being new i wanted to make sure i do the move cleanly obviously it didn't matter because the guys behind but at, at this point we're like 10 9 to 10 seconds behind so i knew i could take my time with this and uh unfortunately for uh, sandman kid he does actually get a bad exit out of the last corner and we actually get a really good exit better than i thought initially but uh we're actually gonna be side by side a little bit of lag but nothing too major i'm just gonna go down the inside very tidy move and that's us back up in, into the lead and from here on out, there was not really much to uh, commentate on apart from, you know, keeping an eye on time penalties. And, you know, as my main goal at this point, I was past Sandman Kid. I knew I could just not cruise, but just uh, go to the end and hopefully try and get no time penalties. But we're on the last lap and um, I wanted to include this in because I wanted to sort of talk about sort of what's going on with me at, in terms of league racing. Um, obviously, I'm going to be uploading PSGL, PSF1. And I do. Is there another league? I don't think there's any other leagues at the minute. Um, I have left TMC unfortunately. Um, I didn't, you know, me and the owner just didn't come to terms with uh, a certain issue. But um, yeah, I've left TMC on. I like to say good terms, but I mean, we'll see what happens in the future. Whether I do return, I don't think I will though. But moving on to PSG, I just want to say that you know the reception I got after this race. Um, it was insane um everyone congratulated me you know on twitter on in the chat um 
you know, just a very warm, welcoming league. And, you know, again, I want to say thank you to the admins of F2 and F1 for uh, making this happen because, you know, I'm very grateful for having this opportunity. I, you know, anyone else would have bit their hands off for it. So I can only thank them, you know, more than enough for letting me come in and show you what I can do. And uh, hopefully this continues, but I doubt it will because I did get very lucky this week. But, uh, yeah, we're going to come home for the win and um, we didn't actually get any time penalties either and I do believe we were the only driver to not get any time penalties so yeah I mean just topped off a really good debut race here in F1 and uh, hopefully I can continue to uh, put in some good results not just for me but for the team as well I do believe Renault was struggling but time's on up and I'll see you next video Good